All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Rakak Kadosh. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the Shishir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing work, and truth and the sincerity. Um, I want to go on this topic of uh, multiple wives or polygamy is uh is not a sin, okay. Um, this is uh, Exodus 21 and 10. If he take him another wife, this is the law, by the way. If he take him another wife, right? It says, her raiment and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. Okay? So, a man that has a woman already, okay? And um, basically, the, the the woman. I'm gonna get the, the 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 scriptures up above, okay? It, Exodus 21 and 8. If she please her, not her master, who have betrothed her, her to her himself, then shall he let her be redeemed to sell her unto a strange nation. I believe that's going into something else, okay? But basically, you know, a man has the ability to go and get another woman. Okay, and if you do go get another woman, of course you're supposed to take care of your woman. You know? No, we're not in the, the, the time of uh having multiple women right now, okay, with the time that, that uh we're in, but if a man has one, okay, according to the law he's not going off. But um you're supposed to supply the food, raiment, and uh our duty of marriage, you know, which is the woman taking care of the man you know, uh, having sex and so on and so forth, you know, that's not, um, supposed to, uh, go, go on. Okay. Um, it says, uh, and if he do not these three onto her, then shall she go out free without money. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to, uh, keep on. This is, uh, second Samuel 12 and seven. And Nathan said to David, Thou art the man, okay? Which is, you are the man. Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I anointed you king over Israel, and I delivered you out of the hand of Saul. And I gave you your master's house and your master's wives into your bosom, okay? And gave you the house of Israel and of Judah. And if that had been too little, I would moreover have given unto you such and such things. So the Lord told David, you are the man, man. And I gave you your master's house and his wives. Okay. That King David had many wives. Okay. But King David went off because he killed Uriah the Hittite. Okay. And he took uh, his wife. Okay. So um, basically when you go into it. The Lord uh, told David, okay, King David, that he would have gave him more wives. Okay, he didn't have to go and uh, do the um, act that he did, okay? But, like, you know, a lot of these Christian churches, they're not going to go into these scriptures, you know, because they don't have no understanding. Like I said, it's not wrong, okay, for polygamy, one man having multiple women. A woman is not supposed to have multiple men. Okay, men and uh, women are not equal, okay, according to the Bible. Um, women were made for men, okay. Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man, okay. Women outnumber men, okay. And if uh, every woman on this planet... Had a man, okay. Um, with well, every man had a woman to himself on this planet, there would be a lot of women out here that would be, um, they wouldn't have a man, okay. So, what are those women supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, lesbians to sleep with other, um, women? No, men are able to have. Um, 
get many women pregnant. A woman can only get pregnant by one man, okay? This society, they try to uh, say that one woman can, can, can have twins from uh, two different guys, you know, and the seed will be split. But, hey, you know, that's not in the scriptures, you know, of that ever happening. And, uh, you know, the Esau is, is wicked to even try to even think some shit like that. But that's an unnatural act, okay? A man having multiple women, okay, is not an unnatural act according to the scriptures. And he, and, and you're not going off if that, that is the case, okay? This is Isaiah 4 and 1. And this is a future prophecy. It says, and then that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, okay? Seven women. The word seven, the number seven is uh, um, the number of completion. So it's going to be, it could be, you know, three, could be uh, nine, okay? Could be more or less, okay? So take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Why they want that reproach taken? Okay? Because in the scriptures, it talks about um, Isaiah 3 and 25, your men shall fall by the sword and, and you're mighty in the war. So a lot of these men out here, they're going to die. And when those men die, what are those, what are those uh, women supposed to do? When your husband did, okay, and you can't do, do anything, it says, and her gates shall lament and mourn, okay? And she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. And when that, that time happens, when these men get killed, a lot of these women, they still going to have that urge to have sex, man, okay? And they're going to go to to these uh, to the men of the Lord, okay? And they're going to um, be that, that man's um, wife, okay? See, right now is the... the, the the, the way that this society is set up, we can't afford um, to have multiple women. I mean, if you can, you can. But right now, we're, in, we're not in the time of um, trying to uh, multiply women, okay? First off, if the Lord wants a man to have multiple women, he will he will do it, okay? And that's, that's on his time. We're not out here to, just because it says that a man can, can, can do it. You know, going out here, going look, looking for it. That's a carnal way of thinking. The spirit is going to allow this to happen, okay? These women are going to come, okay? Could come in one day, could, could come a, 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 a day apart. Who knows? You know, but, but there are certain men out here that this prophecy of, of these women going to that man, Okay? And that don't mean just because you're a man of the Lord that that's gonna that's gonna happen, you know. It's gonna every man of the Lord at the end of the day is gonna gonna uh, be have multiple women in the kingdom of heaven, okay? Because that's how the Lord set it up, you know. We we wasn't meant to enjoy life in this society, okay? And even if you did have multiple women, that's a major headache, you know. Like it, it and and with the way things are right now. Okay, so you know, don't take this as I'm, I'm giving the green light. Okay, to 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 go out here and go, um, you know, marry multiple women because once again, that's a carnal way of thinking. Now, if you did, you're not doing anything wrong, but you just have to wait on the Lord, and these things will happen. This is a part of the faith, man. Okay, this is another scripture to um prove that uh you know multiple wives is not uh, wrong um deuteronomy 21 and 15 if a man have two wives this is the law okay if a man have two wives one beloved and another hated and they ha have borne him children both the beloved and the hated and if the firstborn son be hers that was hated then it shall be when he makes his sons to inherit that which he has, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he has, for he is the beginning of his strength 
the right of the firstborn is his. Okay? So, a man that has two wives, he's supposed to deal righteously with those two wives, especially if he has children. You know, the Bible says that, you know, we're supposed to have a lot of children. But you don't see people out here making a big deal of, about that. You know, they always go into the multiple wives. But what if that person has 20 children? Oh, now it's a, a, a super big problem. But I thought you were supposed to be fruitful and multiply, man. You know? Of course, if you have children, you got to take care of them, right? But that's the same thing that goes for your wife. Okay? If you go, if you have a woman, okay, you're supposed to take care of your woman. And I'm not talking about, like, this bullshit that, you know, this these wives, how, how America sits up there and say that, you know, a person is married. Because that's some bullshit. Marriage is not a paper in the ring. Okay? When this society comes crashing down, people will know, okay, and those women will be saved, okay, through childbearing, okay? I'm going to get this scripture and I'm going to end it. 1 Timothy 2 and uh, 15. Oh, start at uh, 3, 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. You try to have multiple women out here. Okay, these women are, are deceived right now. Okay, they're not in their right mind. And a lot of these women aren't meant to be saved. Now, if a woman is meant to be saved, then that's a whole total different ball game. The Lord is going to put that woman that's meant to be saved with that man. Okay, but these women are deceived and they're transgressing big time. Okay, but the men that are in the understanding, they know, okay, that this is nothing wrong with this. Okay, it says, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing. This is how women are saved, through the men, okay? The scriptures talk about Lot's wife, okay? Um, This is uh, Luke 17 and... Uh, 32 it says remember lot's wife okay which is just a, you know a short scripture but lot wife was saved because of lot she was she had the opportunity to be saved because of lot okay but she turned back and turned into a pillar of salt okay so if that if the lord don't want that woman to be saved then she won't be saved but this is how women are saved through childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Okay? So unless a woman is doing these things, okay, it's even hard to even to, to get them on this level to be thinking this type of way. Okay? But that those women will be saved that, that way. So we're talking about a lot of women that will be saved during that time. Okay, from the destruction that's about to come, which is the thermal nuclear missiles, the martial law, the mark of the beast. When the so-called white man, okay, in this government society says that you cannot buy or sell anything unless you have that mark, okay? So a lot of these women are not going to take that, that chip, that RFID chip, and they're going to come to the men of the Lord because the men of the Lord are not, or they're, they're going to be protected and they're not going to die, okay? So those women are going to be protected when this, when these times come, okay, and, um, that's how they're going to be saved, man, through that man, okay? So, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying, you know? These Christians do not tell the truth in these churches, you know? Um, I just want to say, hopefully, this was edifying and so on.